In late January 2024, the former Philippine president Rodrigo Duterte publicly accused his successor, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., of drug addiction, alleged corruption, and a supposed plot to amend the constitution to lift term limits. This accusation sparked a significant political rift. Marcos Jr., not one to back down, dismissed these allegations, attributing them to Duterte's own history of drug use. This exchange of words marked the beginning of a widening rift between these influential political families, each with their unique views on constitutional reform. As February rolled around, the tension escalated. Duterte, expressing openness to charter change, drew a line in the sand. He strongly opposed any amendments that would benefit the incumbent president, challenging Marcos Jr. to commit to not benefiting from any term limit amendments. Duterte emphasized the need to prioritize the nation's interests over individual gains in any constitutional amendments. This disagreement between Duterte and Marcos Jr. brings to light long-rumored political divisions, impacting not only the country's governance, but also its future direction. It's a clash between two differing views on constitutional reform, with implications for accountability, human rights, and the balance of power. To recap, the key moments in this disagreement began with Duterte's public accusations against Marcos Jr. in late January, sparking a political rift. This rift widened in February when Duterte opposed any constitutional amendments that would extend the presidential term limits, challenging Marcos Jr. to do the same. These events highlight the complexity and contentiousness of political dynamics in the Philippines. It's a clash not just between two men, but between two ideologies, two visions for the future of the nation. The outcome of this disagreement will undoubtedly shape the course of the Philippines for years to come.